and it's probably close to 20 years now that we've been doing this. We're trying to see it firsthand that the plants that we're going to grow or the stuff that we can offer, what does it look like at the end? Talking about Variety Day, it's what we do to advocate for our industry. So this is our outreach to help support growers. Oh, we definitely should come to Cresco, Iowa um, for our beautiful variety trials just so you can see different genetics from different breeding companies that are from all over the world and to see how their genetics perform here in the Midwest. You have the, the brokers, you have the reps that are here, you also have a lot of the experts and there's there's fantastic talks, educational talks. The, the other thing that, that goes on is you just get to see how the plants perform in our climate. We have strong relationships, strong partnership with, with the Gooder family and plant peddler family as a whole. They put on quite a show here behind me. They provide quite a service to our industry. Yeah, enjoy coming back every year. To be able to see that firsthand in real life is, is the important part of coming and seeing these varieties and seeing these trials. A special thank you to, obviously, uh, most importantly is the participants in today's events. The, the people that take time out on a Friday in August and come spend their day with us at Plant Peddler. Hi, I'm Gary Sainsbury with Syngenta Flowers. I'm an account rep at Syngenta, and I'm here with an absolutely tickle pink with Itzy. So Itzy is this tough and tiny, thousands and thousands of flowers on one plant, and would just keep on flowering all the way through the summer. And then they say that two's company and three's a crowd, but I think this is absolutely trifection, where we're using all three colors of Itzy, and you can just see how many flowers you're gonna get all the way through the summertime. Absolutely fantastic display. And here we are in in the begonia aisle and I'm just really really excited about what Syngenta's got here with the Adora series. Here we have the velvet red, we have two other colors, we have a really nice satin rose and we have a nice moon dance. What you get is you get this beautiful dark green, uh, dark foliage and this double flowers just really pop coming off of there. And also don't forget about our Florencios which we have a full series that look just terrific in hanging baskets. Hi, I'm Delilah Onifray, Marketing Director for Suntory Flowers North America and at the Summer Garden Trials we have some awesome varieties. So one is the Granvia Gold Straw Flower, we call it the Super Straw Flower, you know, very large size, large blooms, excellent, outstanding in landscapes and large containers, three seasons of interest, spring, summer and fall, in fact many growers are positioning them for fall programs alongside mums. So in addition to Granvia Gold, there are now six colors in the Granvia series. We have the Crimson Sun, the White, Harvest Orange, Pink, and Peachy Keen, which is a two-toned orange and yellow. Hi, I'm Lisa Haredi with Danziger, and I'm here in front of one of my favorite series at the trials today, and that's the Amore Petunias. The Amore is really unique in that it has five perfect hearts on every bloom. This one here is a truly the queen. This is the queen of hearts and is one of the originals. As you can see, it's got these beautiful pattern on it. It's a very grower friendly plant. You can use it all the way from quartz up to hanging baskets and combos. It performs beautifully in all the different sizes and it comes in all sorts of different color patterns. All of the Danziger Caliber Coa look fabulous today at the trials, but as you can see, these two are particularly flag worthy. This is the ombre. This whole series is a series where they change colors and the pink one is definitely Definitely my favorite. And then back here we have the Leah Spark, which has a unique pattern where it's like a little miniature star in the middle. They both have a beautiful habit and they are really well suited for gallons, uh, but they really show their stuff in hanging baskets and make a really interesting element in combos. Hi, I'm Rebecca Simmons, my head of product management at Duman Orange. Today I want to talk to you about our Iconia begonias, and the variety I want to show you today is dark orange, Portofino dark orange. Portofinos are the workhorse in our Iconia series in that they work in a variety of container sizes, from quartz to hanging baskets, and they have excellent garden performance in both sun and shade. Another variety I'd like to talk about is a new variety in our downtown Colia series called NYC Nights. Think about the downtown coleus as a downsized version of our award-winning Main Street series and that they're a little bit more compact, more controllable growth. 
They're going to work well in both sun and shade, just like our, our main streets do. But I think they're also going to play really nicely in mixed containers because they have more controllable habit. They'll let the other components shine. They also have a smaller leaf size. They're going to add nice texture to both containers and the garden. Hi guys, my name is Jeroen Steenbergen. I'm working for Beacon Camp, and I'm here to show you one of our new begonia varieties. It's uh, still a number 4676, you see it right here behind me. It has a great garden performance and heat loving characteristics. It fits perfectly together with our macaroos and macaros. And I'll also show you one of our newest petunia tea varieties, it's called the Flamingo. So the Flamingo is uh, one of our newest introductions on petunia from our own breeding. Uh, it has great garden performance and heat loving all the way down to Texas. It works very well in your backyard and it has like a two-tone color to the flower. Hi guys, this is Bart Hayes with Westoff, uh, the National Sales Manager. Uh, we are here today uh, walking the trials, looking for varieties that are really standing out for Westoff. One of our big focuses was Calabrcoa Calatastic Cappuccino, which you can see here, and it is definitely a standout. Definitely one of our best introductions in the past few years, so really something you want to try and incorporate for baskets, for forage pots, for combination planters. It's a very versatile color and lots of branches, very easy to produce. And here we can see that Plant Peddler has quite a large collection of our crazy tunia varieties of petunia. You can see here some of the better looking varieties. Cosmic Pink is always a standout. Crazy Tunia Pink Flamingo looks really great here, as well as Blue Ice really showing off here at the trials. Uh, the Crazy Tunias are a true collection. You can see there is a little bit of variance between the habit, a little bit of difference in the height, but that's so that growers can find their favorites and really uh, dial in the kind of diversity they want to have on the benches and, and sell to their customers. Uh, about 60 varieties now, I would say. So there's plenty of opportunities for you to really Make it your own. Hi, I'm Leland Turing from Selecta One. It's August here at Plant Peddler, and I'm going to showcase to you some really new and exciting varieties from Selecta One. The very first is Dianthus Capitan Magnifica. This was a Reader's Choice Medal of Excellence Award just recently given out at Cultivate this year. This is great for an upscale annual program. It has a nice large profile works in a pot, but also, as you can see, works in ground too. I also really enjoy the new Dahlia City Lights from Selecta One. We've got purple and neon here in ground. This is our dark leaf medium vigor series from Selecta One, a summer favorite for sure. And last but certainly not least, we have Enviva Pink. Enviva is the start of a series of Petunia Calabacoa crosses from Selecta One. Vibrant works in the ground, weather tolerant, and there's three other colors to go along with it. So check out all these varieties from Selecta One. <laughs>